excited. We've been practicing well, and uh, it's going to be fun. It's going to be a little bit of excitement with our blackout again, and uh, uh, more than anything, we're, we're ready to play. It's been a little while, so we're excited. You guys had to play without Jamal. You know, obviously he's been dinged up, but he seemed to be on the sidelines, and you know, with the energy that he's able to bring, even then, it seemed like he had, was able to have an impact. Does his current situation make it harder for him maybe to bring that energy that he brought to the team? I think it's tough for him, but his personality is—he's still going to bring it. And I think uh, if he's there this weekend, he's going to bring a lot of excitement and energy. How important is that? I think it's really important. Um, Having guys who have been injured on the sideline, it just brings, seeing them, it's, it's good. It brings a, a special feeling. What's been the feel of the running back core having Jamal out? It's tough, but again, uh, Coach Atwa has done a good job with uh, preparing us. So um, I guess I'd say we're prepared, we're ready. But it's tough not having Jamal there, but nevertheless, we're ready. So, you know, opportunities for you. You've you've had to deal with the injury bug a little bit as well. But uh, you know, like the position you're in, as far as you know, the opportunities that, that you have. Um, the opportunities are great, and um, whenever the opportunities come, definitely want to capitalize on them. But um, definitely focused with doing all that I can do to help us get a win, and uh, that's just doing my job. Are you seeing your reps increase more and more as as time progresses? Yeah. Definitely, especially with Jamal down, um, my reps have increased. So it was Nate's, um, Algie's, Ai's, everyone's reps have gone up a lot. You mentioned Ai Hoshin. He's been switched from fullback to lot to over to linebacker to full, fullback. Fullback, yeah. Yeah, how was it talking about him and how he's kind of meshed in with you guys? This week? You know, I thought it'd be a tough transition for him, but his attitude's been great and he's transitioned really well. I think the first couple of days he had a hard time catching the ball, but Right now, he's doing really well. Yeah, and, and as a fullback, I mean, is he is he as fast as Paul is? I mean, how's his progression in, in terms of the... His speed, you know what, he's been watching Paul a lot, and I think that's the best thing, learning from Paul. Next year, you'll really see him um, develop and... Oh, throughout this year and next year, you'll really see him develop and take on the role that Paul has. He's excited to do it. Yeah, he's considered one of the strongest linebackers. Absolutely, yeah, he's strong. And now he's a fullback. So it We're helps. Running behind him, yeah, what's it like? It's nice. He, I don't know if you've seen, but he likes to pancake people, so uh, we like it. <laughs> we like it. I wanted to ask about the offensive line development because you guys have been relying on you know guys like Tijan and Louis, you know freshman guys as they've continued to develop. What do you what do you see? What how how's their development impacted this team and, and what they've been able to do? It's been great. They're aggressive guys, and that's what we need up front. And uh, it translates, and it actually it's it's contagious. It gets all the other guys aggressive and pushing hard, so we love it and we want to see more of it. What do you see from UNLV? What do you guys have to do? Um, we've got to execute. We've got to do what we practice to do, and uh, we know they'll be a good, tough team, so we can't uh, go out slow. We have to go out running and keep it keep it high intensity. So. They've kind of struggled against the run. Have you noticed that on the film? And if you are, are you just chomping at the bit? You know, we're really excited. Um, We've kind of been picking their defense apart a little bit, and uh, we're excited to see what happens this, this weekend. You're smiling. Oh, yeah. Oh, I'm <laughs> excited. Every game, ready to go. Especially this one? Yeah. yeah. Why so? Um, we've watched their defense, and um, like you are saying, with the offensive line doing well, when it all works together, running backs play well, so can't and, help. And with you getting more reps, and seeing what's on film, this is going to be a this could be a breakout game, or maybe not so breakout game, but a fantastic game for you. You know, hopefully, but what I'm worried about is us getting up and staying up. So, and if that consists of me running a lot, you know, that's my role. So yeah, because the linebackers, some of the linebackers, what have you seen from the center of the defense? They're tough. Um, they play man, a lot of man, and we're prepared for that, so we're excited for it. Has the passing game of Christian Stewart at the helm? Open up the uh, the run game. Have you seen more of the your lanes getting a little bit wider because of the passing game out there? Absolutely, I think so. He passes a lot, so they have to stay on their toes. Uh, he and he likes to throw the ball to Mitch and Jordan a lot, so they can't just uh, stack the box really. You mentioned the blackout at the beginning of <coughs> just what you were talking about. Is that something that the team gets excited about? Yeah, absolutely. I think up? I think so. I think so. I think it brings a little bit more energy and. Uh, 
the, the fans also bring a lot of energy, so it's definitely to our advantage. Is that is the blackout everyone's favorite uniform on the team? I don't know. Um, I think a lot of guys like it. They like the royal blue as well. So, you to kind of give your three keys to victory. What would they be? Uh, my what? Three keys to victory. Um, I definitely say execute. Um, no penalties, and having fun. And run the ball a lot. Run the ball a lot. Especially, I guess so. Yeah. <laughs>